Yeah, hi guys, Peter back for yet another video. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do a, a, a subscriber request. This is for Robert, hi Robert. He asked for this Kiss vinyl collection. Now, I don't know if I've got any more vinyl since I last did this a long time ago, but this is what I have on Kiss and vinyl today. This is it. So I've got 17 albums. Now, bear in mind that all but one of these uh, most of these, the early ones, are reissues. I, I Years back, I had some earlier pressings when I was into the band in the 70s. I don't know. Haven't got them now. But um, a lot of these are reissues. But I hope, you know, if things, uh, if I um, do my searching and all that, I can find um, some earlier pressings and that. But the reissues, if take it from me, some reissues are hit or miss, I know that. The Kiss ones are excellent. They sound great, um, very clear, and uh, they're good pressing. So, yeah. So, this is a reissue from 2014 of the debut album. Here you go. And the back. So, I'll take all these out and, and do the whole business. I just won't show the back and the front. I'll... I'll Nothing to speak of. There's the label on each side. So that's in a polyline sleeve. That's all the first album has. So there you go. And I believe this is a, the European reissue. Uh, it'd be good to have an original of this, wouldn't it? Uh, but um, that'd be hard to search out, wouldn't it? So it's an old album, 1974. But that's the first album. Okay, I'll just put it over here. The second album, uh, probably these days my favourite, Hotter Than Hell. I'm not in the same year, 1974. And again, guys, it's just no inner sleeve or anything. Uh, it's just the same deal as the first album. That label there. And yeah, like I've always been a big Kiss fan since probably, to be honest with you, 1978. Uh, so it's going on a lot of years now, 40, what, 41 years, isn't it? And I was very young when um, I became a fan. And uh, oh, this is the first album I ever heard of Kiss, actually, Hotter Than Hell. So there you go, there's the first two. Now, the third one is Dressed to Kill, another great, great album. Another reissues. I said these are all 2014 European reissues. Uh, they were done in uh, the US and uh, pressed in US and Europe uh, for the um, reissues in 2014. There you go. And I won't get this one out because... There is no inner sleeve. It's just like the other two, the white, the white um, polyline sleeve with the record and the same label. So there you go, guys. That's the third one. And then we get. Uh, there's a lot more to this one. This is a live, a great album. Of course, everyone knows this one. Love this album. Just killer from start to finish. And. Um, here we go inside. There's a lot more to this one. It's not just a... Uh, here we go. Let me show you. Just shows the other three albums and notes from the band. And everyone knows about this. Well done reissue, actually. And um, the records are just in polyline sleeves. I think it is the same label, is it? Yeah, it is. Same label. As you can see, and the booklet is the big attraction in this, which I will show. We can um, get the record in. And here's the booklet. I just want to check, there's two records. Yeah, the reg other record is the same, of course. And um, we get the booklet, which is a nice booklet. And let's see, let me, I can do this. Here's Jean, Peter. A 
couple of stage shots there. So they recreated the original release. You get Ace and Paul. So they, this is like, and there you go. So that is that. So that's a live, everyone knows a live. Uh, let's get this in. Okay, that's that, that's a live, right? So that's a live. And Destroyer, which for years is my favorite. Still up there, of course, but... Um, Great, great album. And here we go. So there is an inner in this one. So you get an inner, you get that. And the lyrics to Detroit Rock City on the other side. And is the label the same? I can't remember from memory. Pretty much, yes. Yeah, there it is. And, uh, and that's all there is to that one in a sleeve. A great, great album though. Really played this day in, day out when I was younger. Still like it a lot. It was a great album. Uh, Rock and Roll Over, another classic one. Love this one. And this is another reissue. The eyes, I said, they're all reissues sort of. This is and in this one. It's you get the um, the inner sleeve, yeah, it's like so. And I believe it's the same label again, isn't it? No, it's it's is it? it's lighter. It hasn't got that dark thing to it. It's a bit different. There you go. And you get stickers uh, with the like they recreated the stickers. Um, stickers I just left now yeah, I'm not gonna use them or anything just left it in there so that is that um, love gun I used to have on vinyl I don't have it now I didn't get the re the track down the reissue I might try and get an older pressing of that I have the CD of course I used to have the vinyl but um, not, not, not at the moment so that is rock and roll over Peter Chris, I got the issue of that. I haven't got the Paul and Gene ones. I got them on CD. I used to have the Gene one. Never had the Paul one on vinyl. I don't know. I used to have the Gene one. Um, this is like a bit of a departure, but I like some of these songs on here. And uh, Peter Chris, and inside you got the. Uh, and then Polly Lonsley with his image on the thing. And uh, let me see, you get the. Uh, yeah, that's what was in it. Let me see on you. Something else in here. Yeah, I got a download code. So it's just a download code, which I never knew. So you get, um, there's an inner sleeve. Yeah. Yeah, like so. Like so, down the other side. And um, just a second. Record and the poster, of course. Let me see if there's anything else in there. Sometimes you can uh, miss something. Nah. And then the poster. So, like they're all like a mural sort of thing. You you put them all together. Oh, there's the Peter one. There you go. See, you see they hook in. You can see them. They got where they um, sort of hook into each other. If we can get that, there you go. So that's that. And um, so that is Peter Chris for you. Okay, that is that. 
Ace Freely. I don't know. I ended up with I, I, I bought, but I ended up with the um, the the German one because see the kiss. It's not it's not the usual um, lettering there. But this is the Great Ace album, of course. Everyone knows this. <clears throat> And the records just this image and the poster is the main thing in here. There's no I don't think there's any inner in this one no, no there isn't. So you get um this pretty nice poster there. Of Ace, and uh, that is that. So the next one, I don't have the other two. I, I should, but I don't. Um, uh, dynasty or Dynasty? I say Dynasty. Most of the world says Dynasty. Dynasty, sorry. Great album back in the day. I remember it well. Coming out. Uh, so what we got in here is um, basically you get a poster. I remember in the day when I got the original, I had the original. Um, you get the, there was a full color then like a like a custom label there, see, which is actual the poster actually. And um, there we go. So what, it's a great post, this one. No, I used to have the original poster, but they recreated it. Look how huge it is. There you go. Great poster. And that is the Dynasty. I think as they say, Dynasty or Dynasty. And, uh, yep. Don't have Unmasked on vinyl. Used to uh, have the CD. Uh, El the Elder, underrated for me. Like the inner sleeve on this one. Like a round table, Knights of the Round Table deal. Yep, and just an inner sleeve on this one. Lyrics. Lyrics. Is this a custom label? Yeah, it is. Yep. And there you go. So that is the Elder. See if I can get it in, back in. I'll see if I can get to the side for a minute. Creatures of the Night. Okay. In a sleeve with lyrics. Lyrics. I'll get. I'll show you the what, the thing inside. Custom label sort of thing. Always like creatures and nights. A bit, a bit heavier album, but a real good album. Then we get to um, these all reissues. It's funny, I haven't got, I should try and pick up some um, that I used to have years back. I had the originals, but yeah. Uh, this isn't a, a reissue though. This is a Lick It Up. This is a, uh, is it? What, Australia? I think it's a Dutch press. It's got the Netherlands or something. Yeah. Man, yeah, it's an older pressing, but it really sounds very nice. Sounds very nice. There we go. A Casablanca thing. Just a lyric sheet inside. It's the same on each side, lyric sheet. And there you go. And we got 
Animalize, which I liked. Uh, it's another reissue. Reissues are selling nice. As, like, if I if I can't find an original of something, I'll go for a reissue. And if it's gonna cost me a arm and a leg, I'm not. I won't. But it depend, depends uh, how much it is. That's a nice inner sleeve that we we'll animalize. Lyrics there. Mercury label, isn't it? Yeah. So that's that. And the next one is um, Crazy Nights. I haven't got Asylum on the record or vinyl. Nice photos on the back there. Oh, 1987. <clears throat> okay. Now, I like the photo on the inner sleeve. It's a good photo of them. Of Bruce and Eric, George, Paul and Jean. Lyrics. Good album, this one. Very commercial, though, but uh, had some good songs. Great album, Revenge. Very harder sounding kiss to sort of back into the hard, more harder rock style. 1992. Don't have hiding the shade on uh, vinyl. That was the one before it. Let me get this out. A bit tight. Here we go, got it. And another good photo of him inside here in the inner sleeve there. Lyrics again. And that label. I uh, guess a couple to go now. Carnival of Souls, the final sessions. Bit of change in style. Um, I don't mind some of the songs. Not my favourite album, but I don't mind some of the songs. Final Sessions, 1997, wasn't it? I believe, yeah, this is the issue, but 1997. Okay. Get a tight thing. And not much to this, just the, um, as I said, just the polyline white sleeve the label and finally the only one that is the lenticular cover of Psycho Circus 1998 now see you see the lenticular cover there you can see yes you see yeah. yeah so yeah and um I didn't mind some of this, but not my favourite album, but I didn't mind some of it. And what have we got in here? Just the inner sleeve. The lyrics. And I can't remember what the label looks. There it is, Psycho Circus 1998. There you go, guys. That's all I have on Kiss. Has 17 albums. I hope to... If I find a Japanese pressing or an earlier pressing, I have to go for that. But I've got a few issues, I know. But um, hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Thanks, Robert, for requesting it. It was a good idea. Hope you like it as well. And I'll see you guys very soon for the next one. Bye for now.